Tessa Thompson talks about her hopes for a female drive-in Marvel movie. Danny Elfman says he's resurrecting his classic Batman theme for Justice League. James Marsters discusses the Daredevil inspiration he took for his Runaways villain. Plus, goofy new Flash footage, and Thandie Newton on Solo's director change. Spoilers get Star Wars episode X. Meanwhile, speaking during an interview with the Star Wars show, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy stated the franchise will continue with its newly introduced characters, specifically mentioning Rey, Finn, Poe, and BB-8, so make of that what you will, well beyond episode 9, and that the studio is currently looking at the next 10 years of Star Wars film and spin-offs. The paper bag princess after a lengthy bidding war, director Elizabeth Banks and producer Margot Robbie will team up to adapt Robert Munch's classic children's book about a princess who rescues a prince from a fire-breathing dragon wearing only a paper bag. Katie Silberman is attached to write the screenplay. Third Captain Marvel Me Entertainment World reports Captain Marvel begins filming this February in California. Here's the synopsis, although it seems like it reads as a brief rundown of Carol's comic book past rather than having any specificity to the film, given the Avengers mention after encountering the Kree hero Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers was accidentally subjected to otherworldly radiation that transformed her into a superhuman warrior. Calling herself Ms. Marvel, she established herself as one of Marvel's most powerful and prominent heroes both as a solo heroine and as a member of the Avengers. Recently, she has adopted the mantle of Captain Marvel for herself. Marvel during an interview with CBR, Tessa Thompson revealed she recently met with Scarlett Johansson, Brie Larson, Zoe Saldana, Palm Clemente, Karen Gillan and Kevin Feige to aggressively pitch a team-up movie. I think in that group was Brie Larson, myself, Zoe Saldana, Scarlett Johansson, Palm Clemente and Karen Gillan. We were just sort of all in a semicircle talking, and it just came up because none of us really work together, well, I suppose Zoe, and Karen, and Palm, and wouldn't it be nice if we could all work together and we were sort of speculating on the ways in which it might happen in Infinity War, or might not happen, and we thought, no, we should just have a whole movie where we know every day we're going to arrive and get to work together. So we just ran right up to Kevin Feige and started talking about it. Bios Amblin Entertainment has picked up the distribution rights to Bios, about the last man on Earth Tom Hanks teaching a robot to care for his dog before he dies. Third Justice League Danny Elfman confirmed to Spanish news outlet Report Indigo the film will use his classic Batman theme from the 1989 Tim Burton film, and very much not the leitmotif Hans Zimmer introduced for Batman v. Superman. Han Solo and further Star Wars news, Thandi Newton spoke to Entertainment Weekly about the complicated changing of the guard from Lord and Miller to Ron Howard. Apart from the initial shock and feeling bad for Lord and Miller not being able to finish their work, their work is everywhere in it. 90% of my stuff is with them. And it's certainly WASNT about, oh we have to start again and do it all over, I love Phil and Chris, everybody loves Phil and Chris, they're so brilliant. Ron and the guys were talking to each other. As far as I'm concerned what's on screen, in the end, is going to be an amazing collaboration. It's a massive piece, we see. So often now there are two directors working on pictures. We already had two with Phil and Chris. Now there's three. With a project like that where it's a vision that's been created over so many years, that's so expansive, I think it's less about things going wrong than getting more help to bring it into the best position it can be in. I really like Ron though, he's very sweet. Star Wars The Last Jedi Another Day, another international poster, this time focusing on the villainous side of things save for Luke, so please continue your evil Luke theories in the comments. Coming soon Unrelated News, Empire Magazine via Screen Rant discussed the Fathiers, a race of Lee and I mules native to Cantonica, with Neil Scanlon of Jim Henson's Creature Workshop. Fathiers have the power and majestic quality that one might find in a male lion and also beauty in their equine aspects. They're racing creatures with bats placed upon them, and are subjected to slightly cruel treatment. We knew any version of those in a wide shot would be CG but we produced a real-scale practical version for the first encounter with a father, so it was able to look over the stable door and Finn could touch and act with it. They're amazing creatures. Runaways in an interview with Nerdist, James Marsters stated Vincent Donofrio's portrayal of the Kingpin was his major inspiration in playing Victor Stein. He Vincent Donofrio did a Kingpin that so surprised me. It was in so many ways exactly opposite of what I was expecting, of what I do read in the comics. In the comics, Kingpin is always charming. He's an extrovert. He's in control of any social situation. And in private he's mean and that's the contrast. Vincent just flipped it 180 degrees and went for the vulnerabilities and the insecurities in the character. He was able to bring out a sophistication that you can't get in a static image. 
Once Upon a Time TV Line reports Tierra's Gov by Polly Cooper on Riverdale has been cast as Robin, the daughter of Zelina and Robin Hood. The gifted a member of the mutant underground is outed as a mole in the synopsis for Episode 8 Threat of Extinction. More refugees pour into the mutant underground, but the group faces a threat when they discover one of them is a spy working for Sentinel Services. Meanwhile, Reed visits his estranged father and learns that secrets from his family's past could prove useful. Spoiler of Iron Fist Jessica Henwick revealed she's back in training for the second season of Iron Fist. The Flash Finally, Katie Sackhoff's Wings by the Flash in the trailer for next week's episode, Girls' Night Out, Banner Art by Jim Cook.